Hey guys, so long time no talk or whatever. I haven't done a video in forever. And as you can tell, I'm in a different setting. Um, my husband and I, and of course my father-in-law, um, we moved. So, <laughs> it's a different um, setting. This is mine and Tommy's bedroom. Um, as you can see, we have like baby pink, like bubblegum pink walls. It's showing up a little brighter than, or it's showing up a little duller than... I see in the camera and then there's also like zebra print um like borders and stuff and <clears throat> like yeah so anyways I'm in a new setting um we are completely happy um our old house well our old situation like living situation was not good so we got the um, chance to move and we took it and we've been happy ever since. So I'm in a new surrounding, or a new setting, new surrounding. I should be happy, well, I am happier. Um, yeah, if you guys want a room tour or something, I can do that or whatever. Um, I still have to like get everything situated. I know I've been, we've moved, moved in here February 23rd, so. We've been here a little over a month, um, but <clears throat> life's been hectic. I also take care of my um, father-in-law like 24/7, basically. Um, he has a lot of health problems. He has like diabetes, um, high blood pressure, and you name it. Um, he also, back in '99, he fell off a roof, um, like three stories, I think, and he has all these like health issues with like deteriorating discs in his back and lower to the lumbar like cervical disc something um he said it um, like a million times but yeah so i'm like his caretaker i've been his caretaker for like a while but since we moved um it mainly falls on me because tommy works and i have no problem with that at all because i love my father-in-law like he um <clears throat> he's like a like a father to me so yeah, that. Also, please excuse my hair. It is, <laughs> um, really bad right now. Like, my roots are growing in, and my ends have faded. It's like, it was bright red. Well, I mean, it's still bright, but for some reason my front camera likes to make things dull. So, anyways, um, my sister's coming up tomorrow, which is April Fool's Day. Wow. Um, but yeah, she's coming up for her spring break, or she's coming down for her spring break, so I'm gonna do something with my hair. I don't know if I'm gonna stay red, but we will see. Um, it's getting longer. I'm so excited. Um, I've been trying to grow it out. Yeah, I am very, very hyper in this video. But anyways, um, I'm not wearing makeup. I'm probably gonna, I'm gonna try and play makeup, but, um, I have my makeup in my closet right now, which I finally have a closet, so I'm really excited about that. But I have my makeup in a closet and I can't get to it easily. Like, I can get to it, but it's not like where I want it to be. So I have to figure out something for that. Um, I mean, our room is smaller, but I'd rather have a smaller room than live in a toxic environment. So, that was also another reason why when we got the chance, also, to, we jumped another... at it. Um, you probably won't see Cheddar in our room, um, because he has a whole house to, um, play around in, and he has another cat that he can interact with, and, um, everything else, so, you're probably not gonna see him in this room anymore. Just, I mean, we did let him in our room a couple times, but he chewed Tommy's $80 headphones from Turtle Beach, so, um, Tommy's just like, nope, he's not allowed in here. Which is fine, I see him all day because I'm downstairs all day and I'm doing like housework and all that other stuff so I do see him on a daily basis like every day all day um, and he is, he's thriving, he likes to jump around and play and everything else and <clears throat> if I sound like I am like out of breath it's because I'm very hyper and I'm trying to get everything that I want to tell you out. Okay. <laughs> So, yeah, once I get everything situated, um, yeah, I'll probably do a room tour that um, I'm excited about is I got a package in the mail yesterday from my best friend, Alicia. You guys know she always sends me stuff. Um, well, we send stuff back to a fourth and 
back and forth to each other. So, yeah, she's having some stuff for Easter, and I'm pretty, pretty excited. Um, yeah. So there is some candy. Um, we already tore into that because candy. But it was, like, Kit Kats and, like, Hershey bars and stuff, so, yeah. And then she also threw in these Mike and I cotton candy, um... I don't know, the Mike and I cotton candy. You can find it at the dollar store. I haven't been able to, and I love cotton candy. Um, if I'm looking over there, I'm sorry, I don't know where to look because I'm still not used to the front facing camera. Anyways, and also, please excuse my hands. I'm trying to get them, like, um, better doing dishes and all that other stuff has, like, trashed my hands and nails, and they're just nasty. But anyways, um, yeah, these are freaking amazing. And they look, I'm just going to show you because whatever, um, they're blue and pink, like how adorable. Oh, and also, I know I'm like jumping back and forth, but um, if the coloring keeps on going off, there's a brick building in, like next to our house, so it's also cloudy today, and also I'm pretty sure the pink has something to do with it. So I'm still trying to figure out lighting and stuff, I'm not going to get professional lighting because I have no room for it here. But, um, I'm gonna do make do with what I can. Anyways, so, yeah. Also, I can decorate my room how I want it. Um, because the other room, you remember the walls were disgusting. They were, like, like this off-white and they had, like, paint splatters all over. And now I have black. So, basically, our room theme is black, white, and pink. <laughs> so, I'm so excited. Uh, I feel bad because Tommy has to sleep in a girly room, but he said he doesn't care. As long as he has his PS4 and computer and TV, he's completely fine. So, I can decorate my room how I want to. Um, it was like this when we moved in. We moved in with his um, cousin and his girlfriend. So, yeah. I mean, it's completely it's a completely better situation and, and just, I'm, I'm, I'm happy. Um, if you couldn't tell. Okay, so I'll get back to what she put in this box, because she's awesome. Um, she doesn't do videos, which kind of sucks, but <laughs> I talk to her every day, all day, basically. So, yeah, we're like best friends. <laughs> Anyways, um, she sent three pocket backs, and they're from Bath & Body Works, of course. And this one is Donuts About You. And look how adorable that one is. Oh my gosh. It's like a little donut with a face and a heart. Oh my gosh. And this one, oh my gosh, it smells like a cinnamon, or you know what it smells like? It smells like waffles, like pancake syrup. That's what it smells like. It smells like pancake syrup, and it smells freaking amazing. So that's what that looks like, and I'm obsessed with these. Um, I only have a few left, so this was a, a nice treat. And this one is called Cupcake Sweetie. I'm very hyper, can you tell? Mmm, it smells good. <clears throat> it smells like frosting, but then, like, it also smells perfumey. I don't know. It it just smells good, and I can't wait to use it. So that one's Cupcake Sweetie. And then this one's called Little Cutie Pie. And it's like a little cherry pie. Mmm. <sighs> it smells like cherries. So. That's that. Is that. And then there was two nail polishes in here, and this is from the brand Paparazzi. I think these are new, and I think they're from CVS. Um, I've seen stuff on Instagram. Also, if you want to keep up with my life, follow me on Instagram. Um, I did get rid of my um, Facebook fan page or whatever, and um, yeah, and also got rid of Twitter. So if you want to follow my life, follow um, Instagram. I post tons of pictures there um so yeah there's this one called mind over matter it's a matte top coat and I actually have it on my nails right now and I just did one coat sorry my cuticles are looking awful but um I have fresh paint honeydew and then also Alex's lemonade and those were shiny so yeah Look how matte they are. Ugh, I don't know. I was so against matte, and now I'm just, like, all about it. Like, I like the look of it. I, 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 I'm obsessed. 
So again, this one is called Mind Over Matter, and it's just a matte top coat, and so far I really, really like it. And then this one is called Seeing Sparkles, and this is the Pop FX nail polish. And it's just a bunch of like purple and blue and silver sparkles. And I love the packaging. It has like little polka dots. Like Blue how nail adorable. polishes that I'm like obsessed with. Well, I, I'm really obsessed with the matte top pop, top coat because that. Oh, my nails look so bad. I'm so sorry, guys. Um, like I said, I have been doing dishes and house. Well, yeah, housework and all that. And my hands and nails have like taken a beating. And plus, our weather has been freaking ridiculous. Like one day it'll be warm, one day it'll be cold. Um, we got snow I think last week or something. Pennsylvania weather sucks. But I wouldn't live anywhere else. Sent three lip products, which two of the lip products um, she said didn't work with her skin tone, and then one of them was from the um, Dollar Tree, which I've never seen these in my Dollar Tree, so I'll just start with the two lipsticks that she sent. And these are the um, sh Sugar Butter lipsticks from um, True Color. And this is in Wink Pink. Like, look how adorable that packaging is. It's very reminiscent of the NYX Butter Lipsticks. Um, so that's what that one looks like. It's just a bright pink. Almost like a bubblegum pink, I would say. And they're pretty pigmented. Like, look at that. Oh, so freaking pretty. I can't wait to wear that. Maybe I'll do Easter makeup and wear one of these pink lipsticks I got. And then this one is called the, well this is the Lasting Finish by Kate lipstick. It's from Rimmel. It's from the Kate collection. I've never tried anything from it. And it's number 33. And this is just like a like everyday wearable pink. Like look at that. It's so freaking cute. Oh, and it smells like the um, like vanilla scent from um, like the original Rimmel. I love the smell of Rimmel lipsticks. I still have r r Airy Fairy and it still smells amazing. So it's like that. So this is more like a blue tone pink and this is more of like a warmer pink. So I cannot wait to wear them. Sorry if I keep on looking back. Um, our door doesn't like latch and I really don't want Chatter to come in here because if he does something then Tommy's going to get mad again. Um, okay. So this one is the NYC liquid lip shine and this is in Midtown Mulberry and it's like a berry red color um it looks like it's mostly cream but there are some like gold shimmers in it which I don't know if it's gonna translate on the lips um I don't wanna put that on I don't know I don't see the sparkles on my hands so we'll see but it's pretty it's showing up more red, but it's more of like a like deeper berry color. Um, I'll insert pictures just because I did take pictures and swatches and all that good stuff. Um, There's two eyeshadow palettes that she sent me. And this one's from Physician's Formula. And I don't know if this was like a tester, not a tester, but like one of them ones where they don't want to sell or I don't know. But it was like the smoky eye or something. And it comes in a package like this. It's like really thin compared to like how their other um, packagings packaging is. And then of course you get this double-ended thing. And then there's that. I already gashed it, like ruined it, but the colors are really pretty. So I can't wait to try that out. And I mean, the only thing that sucks about the Physicians Formula ones is because is the like little strips. Like, it's hard to get the brush in, but we can deal with that. <clears throat> and then this one I was really excited about because um, I've seen loads of pictures on Instagram about this, and <laughs> I was like, it needs to be mine. Um, there are still a couple more I want, but I don't know if I'm gonna get them. Um, just because I think they're a Walgreens ex exclusive and I haven't ventured out to um, Walgreens. Also, another thing about living here, there's like other stores that I can go to, like CVS, Walgreens, etc. That I couldn't go 
when we lived in the other house. So I'm so excited. Like, more shopping. Hello. Shopper. Shopping addiction. Okay, <laughs> so this one is the Wet n Wild. Um, I think it's for their spring collection or something. It's the color Icon eyeshadow palettes. And this is Vinyl Collection. Vinyl Collection. And it's just a bunch of neutrals. Um... Because that's normally what I go for, which I think after this video I might play in makeup. So, um, Tommy's home so he can take over my, sh like, take over with keeping an eye on, making sure his dad, like, takes his medicine, does his blood sugar, blah, blah. So, that's good. Anyways, this is what it looks like. Oh, look at those freaking colors. Oh my gosh. So, so amazing. Okay. So there's this, there's one matte, and then two like really sparkly shades, and then three like shimmer. I'll do swatches because I haven't swatched them yet, but oh, that's going to be amazing crease shade. Oh, look at that. That's the matte shade, if you can see it. This is that um, champagne glitter shade. I think that was an overspray. That glitter might have been an overspray, overspray, but it's freaking gorgeous still. I'll take pictures of it. Um, oh, that gold is amazing. Oh, look at that. Oh, I cannot wait to play right there. Um, that's this color. Oh, my gosh. So freaking pretty. And then there's this olive green one. So far I'm pretty impressed with the pigmentation. And then I'm going to do this dark brown with the gold sparkles. <sighs> so there. So there's all the swatches. Oh my gosh. I cannot wait to play with this. Um, yeah. So this is the six pan eyeshadow palette from Wet n Wild. It's limited edition. If you are a neutral freak like me, I would definitely, definitely recommend that. Well, from swatches, but I'm pretty sure I'll try and let you guys know what I think of it when I try it out. Um, if not in a video, then on Instagram. Shamelessly plugging my Instagram. Okay, and then in there was this um, oven mitt, and it's for um, washing my brushes. Um, I know Sigma has one, but that's like, what, $50 or $30 or 40 I don't know. It's still expensive, so I got an oven mitt to wash my brushes with. Um, these are good to wash your brushes. Um, you just put it on your hand, and then you take your brush, and then you just swirl it around the like ridges and it gets it out and also my hands get so like irritated and dry from like constant friction so can't wait for that well I can't wait to try that and then last but not least um, she sent me four out of the five because I really didn't know about the shea butter one um, the lotion but they're the white rain boutique collection and this is the daily foot and heel cream I have yet to try this out and it's good because they're paraben free and they're not tested on animals and there's a website it's whiterain.com mm. kind of smells florally which I'm not really a fan of floral scents but I can deal with it just because this is the daily foot and heel cream This one is the Facial Cleanser and Makeup Remover. And they're pretty nice sized tubes for what you get. And I mean, they're four ounces, so. Again, this one smells kind of like florally to me, but I can deal with it. Um, as long as it's not straight up rose, like 
The other day, I bought the um, lotions from Dollar Store. The two pack, they're um, like rose and jasmine and citrus and something else. The rose and jasmine, I'm sending to my friend because I can't deal with it. And this one's the moisturizing shower gel. Again, they all have the same scent, so, I mean, it's nothing too special, nothing too, like, whatever, but you know what I mean. And then this one's the Gentle Face Scrub. Again, same scent. So, I got all, well, I got four out of the five of them, so I'm really happy, and I cannot wait to try them. Um, I'm going to wait to try the, like, facial cleanser and makeup remover. Well, no. I'm going to try the gentle facial scrub. I'm going to wait to try that because I'm using the Dollar Tree charcoal face wash that I'm really obsessed with. Um, it's been, like, my go-to facial scrub lately. So, yeah, that is, like, everything she sent me. I am so grateful and so blessed, and I... I always get spoiled by her. Always. Um, she always hooks me up. Um... But, like I said, I also sent her stuff as well, too, so, I mean, it's, like, give and take, you know what I mean. So, yeah, um, I'm gonna try and get back into videos and filming and everything, but like I said, I'm still, like, with the weather's, how the weather's been lately, like, right now, it makes, um, it's dark, um, that's because it's been gloomy all day, and, yeah, I do have this light up here, that's like natural daylighting or whatever, or natural daylight, but we'll see. Um, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, sorry I was all over the place. I was just like real hyper and real excited. And like I said, I've been happier. My husband's been happier. My father-in-law's been happier. We've just been, we're in a good place right now. So even Cheddar's been happier because he loves playing with his little um, cat girlfriend. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, if you want... Go ahead and thumbs up and comment and tell me what you want to see in the future. <laughs> I know I say that, well, I say that a lot, but I don't know. Um, I don't know, I think I'm kind of over makeup tutorials because it's just like the same thing over and over again. Unless I do something really dramatic, which I really haven't been. Um, like I said, I don't, I'm not really happy with where my makeup is right now because I said it's in the closet, like, um, behind a, like a little like it's it's back in my closet so I have to find something to do with that but like I said our room's smaller but I can deal with it anyways I'm gonna stop blabbering I will talk to you guys later and have a good day